let's start by talking about uh, 251 to begin with, just so to kind of understand how I look at things. Um, the way I do it is um, if I have a 2 into a 5, like let's say if I have a D minor into a G7 into a C major, yeah? The way I look at it um, is the D minor is an extension of the 5, of the G7. Meaning that if I have a D minor into a G7, I look at this whole thing as G7, yeah? The major, the 1 is always uh, the 1, like C major is always going to be C major. But 2 into 5, the D minor is an extension of the 5 for me. So I could play, let me loop uh, D minor into G7, then I can... Uh, I'll show you how it works. Uh, hold on. Yeah, so check it out. So I'll, I'll loop a D minor into G7. And then I'll play a C major. Okay. So now I'm going to play a G7 over the D minor. And uh, G7, check it out. G, Mixolydia. And then C major. Now I'm gonna play like a G halt on. Now I'm gonna play a G sharp diminished. And C major is always C major. Now I'm gonna play alter, G7 alter. C major. So you see those, all those work really well. So if I'm improvising, let's say diminish, G sharp diminish. C major. Triads. G sharp triads. Diminish. I'll do uh, jump in thirds on a diminish. Now I'll do it on a whole tone. So I'll do jump in thirds on a whole tone. Jump in thirds on altered. Uh, I'll do a jump in seventh on a mixolydia. I'll do jump in seventh on a diminished, see if I can do it. to C major. So, I hope this is clear, but it's very simple. You just apply the dominant to the 5 chord, and the 2 is kind of the extension of the 5, so it works really well. It actually makes things a lot simpler. And that way you can apply the scale to those two chords.